Welcome back, blockchain hustlers, to the Blockcast by Blockster, where we break down and dissect top crypto news stories. In this video, we will be going over six different top crypto news articles, so you're going to want to watch all the way to the end so you don't miss anything. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like, and check out the Block Desk, and join the Telegram group so that you always stay up to date on the latest crypto and blockchain news stories. Links will all be in the description. All right, so the first article, guys, that we're going to take a look at is five challenges crypto faces in 2022. But it, stick around because we will be going over six different articles, guys, with some key information that you don't want to miss. But let's dive into the first article here. So we will discuss uh, five challenges crypto faces in 2022. And um, it's bad actors in the space that bring us to the first challenge crypto faces which is negative perception guys negative perception because of scammers hackers and pump and dump projects many people associate a negative stigma to cryptocurrency and that undermines blockchain and cryptos true innovation capabilities and potential which i believe brings us to another issue which still holds crypto back is lack of understanding although crypto has gone more mainstream this year and more and more people now than ever are getting on board it's progress not perfection i do believe this is where some regulation in the space is necessary as time goes on to create a safer environment for investors lack of understanding in my opinion is partly what brings us to the next challenge which is usability although crypto has gone more mainstream this year many people still don't understand cryptocurrency, how it works, and transacting, investing, or trading crypto can seem complex and difficult to most beginners. But as time goes on, crypto will become more and more understood and user-friendly. Scalability is the next challenge. As cryptocurrency is continuously developing and aiming for speed and security, scalability will come with time. Crypto banning is also an issue. This is a major concern for cryptocurrency as we have seen China, among others, ban or attempt to ban cryptocurrency. Although I don't believe governments banning it could possibly stop it. Because of its decentralized nature and the amount of wallets holding Bitcoin, it's basically impossible to get rid of Bitcoin altogether in my opinion. Price volatility is another major challenge holding crypto back from mainstream adoption. As many investors, especially big institutional money, see the volatility creating huge risk. However, Bitcoin and crypto's volatility could be seemingly very rewarding for experienced traders. Nevertheless, as time goes on and more and more money comes into the space and more and more Bitcoin are mined, I believe the risk to reward will be self-explanatory and the volatility could potentially slow down. And guys, next up. Or crypto trading risk and mistakes to avoid this is a good one guys this is very important and it's great info for anyone that's new to the space so don't go anywhere let's go ahead and jump on into this so the first on the list is staking or investing more than you can afford to lose it may be hard at times especially if you feel an opportunity to make huge gains but you should never ever invest or stake more than you can afford to lose and the next one, guys, this is important. This one is actually very important. Um, investing with real money first rather than paper trading. Um, paper trading is offered by many exchanges and it allows you to trade with fake money to get a feel for it before actually investing your real money. Many beginners may not know this is available and by doing this, one thing you could avoid um, making big trading mistakes. So definitely something that you should look into as this could help get you a feel for trading before actually investing your real money. And the next one is also very, very important, especially for beginners in the space, trading with high leverage. This is something that needs to be stressed as many beginners may see leverage as an amazing opportunity to massively increase their profits without actually acknowledging the risk. And uh, when you use leverage, you can 10x to even 100x your investment, but you will still owe the full amount and have to repay it regardless of whether or not your trade was successful. Um, so this should only be used by experienced traders. And last here is not having your own strategy or relying on others' strategies. 
Uh, while I believe it's okay to look to others for ideas um, or opinions, I don't believe it's good to copy someone else exactly. Rather, gather ideas and opinions and formulate your own strategy that works best for you. And next up on the list, guys, polka dot. Does it have an 1800% potential? Is this price prediction realistic? Let's jump into this. So I'm very bullish on polka dot. Since launching in 2020, it's already seen massive gains. Polka dot has mass scalability potential because of its concept on sharding and pair chains, increasing polka dot's potential to 1 million TPS. Another major factor uh, if that wasn't enough, is the coming Bitcoin happenings and taking into consideration Polkadot's rise since its launch. There's no reason why it can't see 1800% gains. Now, next up on our list to take a look at, guys, is Brave Browser, as most of you may know, has a built-in cryptocurrency wallet now. I think it's about time Brave Browser did this. After all, they are a uh, decentralized-based project. With 42 million active users, I think this was a big step in the right direction for Brave. Uh, Brave Browser allows you to earn BAT tokens or basic attention tokens for viewing ads while offering a privacy-focused browser that blocks ads. It also allows you to tip websites you want to support in crypto, which I think is very, very cool as well. Our next article that we are going to be taking a look at, guys, is Australian baseball team to pay players and staff in Bitcoin. So this is pretty massive, right? And this is something we've been seeing a lot this year in the U.S. as well. So we do have an Australian baseball team to pay, which is the Perth Heat. They will be play paying their players and staff in Bitcoin. Perth Heat made an announcement Wednesday mentioning a partnership deal with OpenNode, a Bitcoin payment processor, to enable the club to send and receive Bitcoin payments over the Lightning Network. This is not the first and won't be the last time the sports industry is adopting Bitcoin. The NBA and NFL have all dipped into the wild west of cryptocurrency, and this is only the beginning. It's an amazing thing to see as it continues to bring crypto and blockchain into the public eye. In the last article today, guys, India's central bank looking to commence CBDC pilot in 2022. So the um, Reserve Bank of India as an official that has stressed concerns over CBDC, um, including whether or not it should be semi-centralized or decentralized, which I don't know how you could, I mean, I guess you could be semi-centralized. I'm not sure exactly how that would work. You know, it's either you are or you're not, right? Or it should be anyways. It should be noted, though, that uh, the Reserve Bank of India is in favor of banning crypto and had previously banned commercial banks to stop offering services to crypto businesses um, this is typical from a bank, you know, they say it's because they are concerned that cryptocurrency poses a risk to financial and economic stability, but in reality it poses a risk to the bank's economic stability, but in, um, because not the world, right? Um, as it becomes more and more understood and adopted, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin could provide a completely decentralized financial system. And uh, just to do a quick recap, guys, here, I wanted to point out a few things. According to the latest news and developments, it's evident that there is work to be done, um, but for the crypto revolution to provide the best outcome, factors that undermine its integrity need to be addressed. I want to point that out and just do a quick recap here. So never invest more than you're willing to lose, paper trade before trading with real money, and only use leverage if you're an experienced trader. As we are just in the beginning stages of cryptocurrency adoption with Polkadot just launching in 2020. And already seeing massive gains this is a project to keep your eyes on guys and cryptocurrency being adopted by sports industries all across the globe bullish guys super bullish bringing cryptocurrency even more so into the public eye just wanted to stress this and how important i believe this is before we head out and guys the banks the banks are concerned the banks are not happy but we're happy right as blockchain hustlers as cryptocurrency investors we're happy right because the banks don't serve the people thank you so much for watching another episode here guys brought to you by blockster don't forget to check the links in the description join the blockster telegram group and hit that subscribe button smash that like button on the way out and we will see you guys in the next one